So now I would like to introduce the cap loader. First, we go to the system. We can go to English page from here. And here we get a data. It's a production volume. You can clean it. And we have two cap banks, one on the right, the other one on the left. So here is the, the stator for the cap bank. And the server ready stator is for the orientator and the cap sender server. And the cap picking position sensor is this one. When this, sense, when this sensor has signal, the lifter will stop automatically. So you can adjust the height of the sensor to make a right position of the cap head. An orientator sensor. Orientator sensor, it's uh, a sensor here. This sensor is for the orientator. It detects the gaps from here. When this sensor sends from here to he from this position and to the gap, it will have signal. So this is for the orientator. And the for the orientator here it's a uh, original sensor. And here we got pair sensor. Pair sensor it's a uh, reflect. It's this one and uh, reflect to that one. So when the pair is here it got signal to stop the conveyor. System reset, server reset. It's the system reset when, when you press the something like emergency stop, and the caps it keeps sucking there. You press system reset, the sucking will release caps. That's for safety. In case any any pails with oil is under caps, if the caps is released, the cap may be drop into the oil. So this is for protection. And here we go to some parameter from this button. Also, manual operation is at this page. Pair on position delay. That means when the pair sensor detects pairs, after delay, the conveyor stop is for position pair. And the orientation delay, orientation delay, it's also is for the orientation. When the sensor sends the gaps, it gives a delay to stop the cap rotating. Manual sending cap delay, manual sending cap, manual sending cap de a speed. It's for for the cap sender to move forward and the backward speed manually. And. Uh, Terminal position of cap. Terminal position of cap. This is for the cap sending position. It's when this one move forward and the server need to stop for position for positioning. So you can manually move the cap sender up there, and uh, after you get right position, you click terminal position. Terminal position location safe. This one was we're safe. Lower conveyor speed is for the conveyor speed frequency. You can just click to change. As we test, it works good at about uh, 25 to 30. 25 to 30, but we t test the slow before. And uh, this is cap lifting speed. It's for this one for the lifter, lifting up speed. Orientator speed is for for the orientator rotating speed. Not two seconds, two run per second works well. And the lower conveyor is to start and stop manually of the conveyor. The cap up down. Here is up. 
and here is down up down is for the cap up and down the cap forward this is for the position you can move it forward and backward and up up forward and backward and uh, the the pick down pick it down pick it down is for the cap picker up and down cap back number one and number two it's it's for the switch it's for switch the the, the caps the left bank and the right bank pair block cylinder pair city block cylinder so far it's not used so here's the system and here we have some sensor for mechanical So here we have two sensor, two sensor. The lower one at the top, the lower one at the top. When the lifter is reach this position, the lifter will going back automatically. The system will will think the pack bank, the 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 caps in the pack bank is insufficient. So we're going back. And the top one, this one is for protection. And down there, the up one, this one is for the cap lifter original position. So when the lifter, only when the lifter go into this position, you can switch the cap bank. This one is for protection. This one is for protection. So the system works when the first, when the first, the cap bank finish caps, and it going back to the original position, and uh, the standby bank here, this sensor has signal. Under this condition, you manually print print the foot step to switch the bank. And after you switch the banks, here is another sensor. This left bank will go back to this position and you can refill the caps into the bank. Refill the caps into the bank. And now the right bank is under working. So when the right bank is finished, you need to step again the full speed, uh, full step to switch to the left one. So for for cap loading position, uh, the pair position delay need to adjust according to the lower speed to get a right position. And from from this side position. Here you got two ways. One way is is to adjust the fender, the green fender, for position, and the second one you can actually the fender you can you just need to adjust one time for one pair, and the second you can use the terminal location. You can use the terminal location to located the cap sender because this cap sender is moved back fo forward and stop it controlled by servo motor so you just only need to set the position on the touch screen and here on this conveyor uh, we make a, a full pair sensor from this one, this is a reflex sensor to the mirror, that one. So when here it got signal, the failure will not send new pairs to the cap loader.